Welcome back to another tutorial guys we got a beautiful transformation here for y'all today if you're new to the channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as we do drop tutorials here on a weekly basis and all the steps to this haircut will be in the description down below now let's get started you're gonna want to go ahead and grab your faded culture shears along with a comb and before we get started these are the winners to last week's giveaway congratulations guys by now y'all should have got a dm by me asking for y'all's cash app so i can go ahead and send y'all the 150 dollars each thank y'all for the continuous support and i hope y'all enjoying this holiday season back to this haircut we're gonna go ahead and start by grabbing our first section and notice how i don't let go completely of the full section as i'm grabbing half of it along with the new section to use as my guide and now i know exactly how much to cut as i move to the side you're gonna want to go ahead and repeat that process just move your way in horizontal sections and again you could find these shears at fadedculture.co which is linked down in the description below it does come with a set of thinning shears and six inch shears a tip that i have to add is if you're new to using shears try not to cut past the second knuckle as you do risk the chance of clipping yourself Now grabbing the hairs from the side in a vertical manner, this is going to help me start connecting the sides to the top. It's basically like a debulk. And now to cross check my work on top, I'm going to come in in vertical lines as well and go ahead and clip any inconsistencies that I might have on the top. I am going to do a number four on the sides, so go ahead and slap that on and close the lever completely. And as you can see, I'm using my comb to help push the hair towards the clipper. Go ahead and take that all around the head and make sure that you do end up at that same temple peak area on the opposite side. And now open up the lever completely and continue blending the sides. Make sure that you are easy with the wrist and you're not digging into the head as that will create like a faux hawk look. To finish connecting the sides to the top, I'm going to go ahead and open up the lever and use clipper over comb technique. And if you are new to clipper over comb, I also suggest that you slap on the number one just to use as a safety net so you don't cut off too much. Now with my one and a half guard lever completely open, we're going to begin debulking the taper area. No guard lever completely closed, we're going to begin and put in our first guideline. And yes, my clippers are zero gap. There is a video down in the description below on how we zero gap our clippers. And this is usually how I go about setting my first guideline in that back taper. I follow the side and come all the way to the back. Now with the lever completely open, still no guard, we're going to set in our second guideline. Make sure that it does run parallel to the one underneath and it is about a finger's width apart. Continuing the process, it's going to be the number one guard and the lever is going to stay open. You're going to notice that all that's going to change is the guards and the lever is going to stay open. And going in numerical order, I'm going to put the one and a half guard now. Again, all the steps to this taper is in the description below. Now with the number two guard, just continue the process. And finally, the number three guard which is going to be the last guard since we did a number four on the sides. By now you should have two guidelines. The first one that we made with the clipper closed and the second that we made with the lever open. We're going to start with that top one, get your half guard and go ahead and close that lever just slightly, putting it into a three fourths position, which is basically somewhere in between halfway and fully open. Do take note that this step does create a faint line right above it. So go ahead and put the number one guard, but leave the lever in that same position and go ahead and attack that. And 
finally for that first guideline it's going to be a three step process starting with a lever completely closed and take that up about a quarter inch using mainly the corners of the clipper now put the lever halfway and continue that same process and finally fully open Go ahead and grab your trimmers and use them in a forward position like I'm doing so and erase that faint line that that creates. The reason I use the trimmers in a forward position is to create this line which is used as a guideline for the electric shaver. All it did was get a little bit closer to the scalp. And you're pretty much all done. Go ahead and repeat those same exact steps on the back side now and the opposite side. We're pretty much halfway through this tutorial guys if you're enjoying it so far please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I didn't put the guard number or lever position on the screen in hopes to help some of y'all start memorizing our steps but they are in the description down below in case you do want to check them out. Now that we're approaching that first guideline and the tip that I do have for this is to break down this last guideline into two steps for that back taper as it is very tedious and you want to give it a lot of attention to detail. Again just repeat that three step process now on the right side of that back taper. And go ahead and repeat those same exact steps on the right side. Grab your trimmer and start lining up behind and around the ear. Just notice how for the line up behind the ear I do come in at an angle. The line doesn't just come straight down. Now with my half guard I'm going to go ahead and put lever play and attack any dark areas or inconsistencies that I see in the hair. You can always take a step back and try to view him from afar or just look into the mirror guys. The mirror really does help to find these inconsistencies. Now adding a little bit of texture just by point cutting. The deeper and wider the point cutting is, the more visible the texture will be. Go ahead and just work your way back in horizontal sections and create that choppiness. Here just getting his bangs out the way so I could begin the edge up. As usual always start your edge ups in the center and then work your way to one side. Always recalibrate from the center and work your way to the opposite side to make sure that you are coming in a straight line. And yes my trimmers are zero gapped as well. And now go ahead and grab your faded culture shave gel and apply it in all the areas that we will be doing our razor work on. Snapping the ends off my razors just to make it easier to slide it into the Turkish style razor that we do have. Again you can find all our products at fadedculture.co. Begin by shaving with the grain and use your opposite hand to help stretch out that skin then shave against the grain. A huge mistake that I do see with a lot of people beginning to cut hair is they do not shave behind and around the ear. 
which I think makes a dramatic difference in enhancing that lineup, guys. Go ahead and do so if you don't already. It does take a little bit of practice to learn that backhand stroke, though, so do take your time and try to avoid nicking them as much as possible. Now, I did damp the top of the hair to then add my matte paste, and now we're going to go ahead and melt that paste onto the hair versus just slapping it on top. And to finalize the look, we're going to add a little bit of texturizing powder just to really bring out that texture. Go ahead and work the product in, still using heat, and then finalize it with the cool shot to close that cuticle, adding a little bit of hair enhancements to his lineup. And here are some before and after shots for the comparison. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial, guys. I hope y'all took something new out of it. As usual, please let us know down in the comments below what videos y'all would like to see on this channel. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. My name is Adrian Barone, and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Peace.